What is up, YouTube? Doofnack95 here once again, uh, bringing you some analysis of Clear Lakes 44, this time broadcast number 8, and we're expanding upon the Walker narrative once again, so i uh, give you a little uh, recap if you haven't seen it already, but of course you're going to want to check that out before you watch this, so spoiler alert. Okay, you've got time. This one, we pick up that narrative again, it uh, picks up right after the fifth video. Uh, Dude in glasses uh, has a pretty good beard. We'll call him Beardy for the, uh, the, our purposes. He uh, checks out his house, or presumably his house. He finds the can that uh, Glitchy had been eaten out of, and he you know, seems suspicious that someone has intruded his uh, dwelling place. So he starts looking around, and Glitchy is in a closet area, which isn't super obvious at first, but you see a camera switch to a view from inside the closet looking out and the attention of Beardy is drawn to that closet so he goes in there and looks but as he does Glitchy seems to transport out or something very trippy of that nature because he doesn't seem to notice anything out of the ordinary so he continues to look around his place and Glitchy from his new uh, I don't want to say vantage point but his new location within the house tackles him, very masky style, from behind. And after that, he seems to have disappeared. And after that, Glitchy makes his exit through a door. Presumably an exit, that is. We don't know, because trippiness ensues, just like when Birdwatcher opened a door. So, let's talk about that. Beardy, new character. Never seen this guy before, as far as I know, in any Thack production. So, new actor, good on you, Thack. Glad to see some new blood in the uh, works here. But will we get anything more with this character? Is he dead? Where is he gone? Who knows? Hard to tell. Can't really say much about it. But I do hope we see more of him, because it would be very odd for a character like that, whose house was intruded by presumably one of our main characters in all of this. Why would he just show up for this? And why was his house invaded in the first place? Why was that the place that Glitchy picked? When he was running away, why did he go there? Glitchy didn't seem to be very welcome either because he hid at the end of the fifth video, so I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing more about that in the future videos. But other than that, let's take a look at what happened. We see many uh, frame shifts, or I don't even know if that's the word, but like where the camera is located, uh, it goes from first person views when the tackling occurs uh, and within the closet to uh, wider views, you know, when uh, he's looking, or Beardy, I'm sorry if I'm confusing him, Beardy's looking around his house. So again, the cameras don't know what's up with them. In some instances, it's like they're drones. In others, it's like they're GoPros. And in other instances, it's like surveillance cameras. Maybe there's multiple feeds. Maybe it's all three of those. And maybe it's none of it all at the same time. I really want to figure that out. That's one of my biggest burning questions of the series so far, is what's going on? And that's one of the things that's keeping me invested, because this is progressing at a very slow rate. Even though we do have seemingly four narratives. Tim, possibly the rocking chair guy. We haven't seen anything else from that, so maybe that's not one. Uh, we have Walker and Birdwatcher. So, we have all these narratives, and we're really just not moving fast enough for my taste. Marble Hornets, um, I know it, it didn't start off very fast. It was just like, okay, what, what's a cool shot we can do with Slender Man? And this series... I don't even understand the direction that we're going. I know it's interesting to see, uh, see all these different things that they're doing and that they can achieve with the limited media that they have to tell the story, but I really don't send or get a sense of purpose from the story. Why is it here? What is Clear Lakes 44 in the first place? I mean, we, we just don't have anything to go on. And that's getting frustrating as a viewer, even uh, as someone who stayed with Marble Hornets for a very long time to get the payoff in the end. I still felt like even in the slower entries, we were going somewhere, 
and there was definitely an endpoint that we were trying to reach, but I don't even know what the purpose of what we're watching is. I've seen uh, shows, I can't think of any off the top of my head, where they follow different narratives. I know there are things like that, and there's things that I do remember enjoying, and, why, and you would see how they come together as they progressed. And I'm sure that's going to be the case here, because we have two, or maybe even one, if Glitchy and the uh, black dude from a couple of videos ago, if they're the same entity, I know there's going to be commonalities between them. But it, we're taking a very long time to get a story going, and it makes me question what's going on. I do have faith that uh, the Thack crew is going to tell a decent story. I've seen what they can do through Marble Hornets. But if I was a casual viewer, I might be out by now. I'm really just not sensing something uh, worth sticking with. And that's concerning to me. I don't know how other people are feeling about it, but I do think that there should be a little bit more because I think that people may start to lose interest. And it's, it's harder for me to get enthusiasm about these if I don't think there's somewhere we're going. And I'm, I've mentioned this already, and I'll say it again because I think it's worth repeating. I do think they have something in mind, but I just think they're taking too long to get there. There's too much setup, and that's what they really need to work on. Um, so that would be my biggest critique right now. But honestly, I'll still be doing these videos, of course, because, you know, this is your premiere analysis. Uh, yes, I'm being uh, egotistical, but it's, it's all in good fun. So I'll definitely still be doing that, but it's just hard for me to get as hype about it, or hyped about it as uh, Marble Hornets. Uh, because every time a new Marble Hornets entry, I don't know if you've seen that uh, gif of Tim having a seizure while sl there's an animated Slender Man dancing. It's like, oh my god, new entry. And I love that. And that, but, like, that embodied how I felt when a new Marble Hornets entry would come out. Because it was exciting. And after I watched it and I showed it to the people I watched it with, it would be like, yo, I gotta get on the forums. I gotta start uh, theory crafting. I gotta figure out what's going on. And then, you know, you do all this while you're waiting for the next video. And that's what I want to be doing with this. And it doesn't lend itself very well to that style of watching so far. Hopefully it does. And even if it doesn't at some point, Hopefully there'll still be something to at least tide us over and keep us interested until the next video. But I do feel like they're just going a little too slow, and I hope that they pick it up. I know I said a lot of words to get to that point, but I'm very passionate about this, and I felt it was worth saying. But as always, there's not really much I can say about the video itself, because there's so little to go on. Um, I think I did mention everything that was worth saying. So if I did happen to miss anything, please let me know in the comments. Tell me your theories as well. If you have anything that's uh, a little bit more interesting than what I had to say this time, I would love to hear it because we need some hype around here. So I do hope you do that. Like the video, uh, of course, if you enjoyed it, and give me that sub if you have not already. And I cannot wait to see you next time.